Hi, I'm Lillian Kennedy and this is the weekly art lesson. This lesson is in memory of my mom, Marian Kennedy. And this is her chair, and in her chair is small L in his chair. Now, mom was a real Yankee. She saved everything. After she passed, we found a bag of socks that had this sign in it. Odd socks for puppets. Well, I don't make puppets, but I am going to make things out of these socks because they've been saved for decades. It would be a shame not to. I'm going to make useful things for a painter. So let's start with this one. And I'm going to cut it off here. I usually do this with worn out socks. And I'm going to cut a hole down here on the side. And when I paint, I can use this as my painting glove. I can keep the other hand in the pocket, but not the painting hand. So there's one old sock and a good use for it. Odd socks, as she says, because these were the socks without mates. Sad, huh? Now here's another one. I selected this one because it's extra soft. And inside this are split peas for soup. But instead of soup, I'm going to make a heating pad that I can put in the microwave, warm up, and then wrap around me and keep me warm here on this chilly October Vermont day. So in go the split peas. Can always make the soup later. But I was cold here. It was 47 degrees this morning and I didn't have any heat. I could have started a fire, but I chose not to. I just used the split peas and other things. You can use rice, beans, whatever you want. And then you tie off the top. Put it in the microwave. And really nice things to put around your neck. I guess my family just likes to make things out of other things. These faces that I showed you were made by my father and his brother in one of their first businesses. This one was made in August 1947. You can see it says Mountain Kiln Pottery, Bristol, Vermont. And this hat was made by my sister Ruth and it was made for my mom but now it's mine and these neck warmers are fre frequently made by my sister Jean only she really hand sews using fabric fills them with corn and those of you who've been in my studio know I have a whole basket full and on winter days everybody gets to um, feel really cozy and taken care of. So thanks for listening and see you next time.